Welcome back to Endangered Species Spotlight. This week we are talking about the Poelophanta snails. So there's actually quite a few different species of the Poelophanta snail. However, since they are almost all threatened or endangered or at risk or of some sort, we're just going to be talking about them as a whole. The Poelophanta are a bunch of different types of air-breathing land snails that are endemic to New Zealand. They are carnivorous and eating mostly earthworms, and they're some of the largest snails, like, in existence currently. Like I said before, there's a bunch of different species, however, almost all of them are close to extinction or threatened in some way. This is due to a ton of different factors. The main one is introduced predators. There are natural predators of the snail that are on New, Ze New Zealand and have evolved alongside them. However, introduced predators such as rats, possums, and pigs. These snails have not evolved any, like, defense mechanisms to be able to deal with them, so introduced predators like those are absolutely decimating the snail populations. Additionally, their habitat has been drastically reduced by farming and grassland development and agricultural crops and all of that. In addition to habitat loss, those grazing animals also have a threat of accidentally stepping on them or, like, lying down on them or something. Also, they are at risk from climate change. As the climate is changing, it, one, allows predators to move into different areas, like especially rats. As the climate gets warmer, rats have a larger range, which extends into the snail range. And two, um, the climate is also drying out in that specific area, and snails need quite a lot of moisture to be able to, like, survive because they breathe through their skin and all that, so they need to be, they need to be moist. So with the changing climate and it getting hotter, it's also getting drier, which is not good for these snails. Another important, but not as, like, crucial factor that's affecting them is the collection of these snails. Now, it is illegal to collect live snails for their shells. You cannot collect that. It's been that way since, like, the 80s. And I'm not sure, so don't quote me on this, but it may be illegal to collect, like, empty shells as well because there are sp certain species that use the calcium from old discarded shells to, like, help fortify and, like, rebuild their own shells, so they need those empty discarded shells in order to eat to make their own shells stronger. I'm not sure if it's illegal to collect the old discarded ones or not, though. So there are multiple conservation efforts going on in New Zealand. There's a bunch of protected areas where some of the rarer snails have been found. There's also predator control mechanisms to try to reduce the population of invasive predators such as rats and pigs and all that to keep them both out of the area and other areas because these aren't the only things that those invasive predators are affecting. They do affect a lot of the endemic New Zealand wildlife. So while a bunch of these species unfortunately are not looking good, there are other species that as a whole are doing a great bit better, so that is definitely a good thing and a step in the right direction.